Hello, welcome pen friends. I'm back a little bit early this week because I've got something to share with you that I just don't want to sit on. I, I really want to share it. It was shared with me and uh, I'm so excited about it. I got a pen pal letter on uh, uh, Saturday. I received it and it was written on some filler paper with fountain pens and it was just amazing and I hadn't heard of this. Um, uh, actually, my name is Chris. I think I've got the cart before the horse right now. Um, welcome, welcome to the video. Um, I talk about fountain pens and paper and and uh, ink and all kinds of fountain pen related things. And I like to talk about books and crystals too. But I usually put that at the end or in a separate video. But anyway, I since I got the letter on Saturday, I went ahead and I found this paper in the CVS. I got the paper. And I've been playing with it today and checking it out. And sure enough, it is really fountain pen, um, I guess you'd say resistant, because it doesn't feather or bleed through. It's really incredible. But let's see. Let me first show you. Okay, so it comes in a little package like this. Um, and it's called Caliber uh, Filler Paper. And it's in CVS Pharmacy. Um, I don't know if you have a CVS where you are, but they're they're all over the place down here. And it was three dollars and nineteen cents for 150 sheets. Normally, I would have coupons and so on, but I hadn't been in there for quite a while. So anyway, um, uh, I got it. I so that I could try it. I kind of wrote on the corner of her letter, and uh, you know, with a really broad nib to see. Well, I wonder if it's the same, if because I think her letter was written with a medium. But uh, here it is. And this is what I found out. I found out that just about everything will work on it. And uh, she said she found out on, I think it was Fountain Pen Network. But I want to pass this on because I didn't know about it. So not everybody in the whole world would know. And I've been buying paper that's expensive. Um, I've been buying um, the Claire Fontaine Triumph paper. And I like it. I like it, but I'm really kind of nervous using it even because it's $9 for uh, 50 sheets. And I probably will will enjoy kind of slowing down on using this. Um, this is my second one that I've purchased. And, you know, and use this more for just the everyday. And I'm, I'm really liking the idea very, very much. So um, what I did find out was that... Uh, Nothing bleeds through. The only thing that I had bleed through on was um, I really laid on the Karen Dash Divine Pink when I scribbled out. And that went through like this. You can kind of see it. Um, the rest I would consider shadowing except for these two places here. And I'll explain about that. This was uh, the Diamine Florida Blue put down pretty heavy. And, and who's going to do that in a letter? But I just wanted to see what it would do. And then this is Archival Ink ink pad and I had a feeling that would bleed through but it doesn't bleed through with the regular ink pad that's not archival it didn't bleed through and with uh, Tombow dual brush markers which I do quite often I have stampers and I like to dress up if it's a plain letter like this I do like to put a little um, I've got a little frog stamper and a couple other things I like to use so but what I found was I'll still be able to do that because that C is the only one that showed through and, you know, this one I'd say heavy shadowing, that kind of bled through a little. But none of the fountain pens bled through. You hear that? The paper is real crisp and kind of, <laughs> it's lightweight too, which I think is kind of neat for letter writing if you're going to write a letter and, and you're wanting one stamp to do it. So that's kind of neat too. So here we are. It says right on the package, made in Vietnam. And I've mentioned that before on my channel that I've had really good luck with notebook paper, notebooks that say made in Vietnam. So I was really excited to, to find out about this. So let me just go over some of these things I put down here. I feel like it's on the pro side, it's affordable. There's no bleed through on, I mean, that's a 1.5 millimeter Goulet stub. Now, I didn't try it with that stub with uh, Noodler's Heart of Darkness, heaven only knows, but this is what I'm using for letter writing. So I would, I would be comfortable in saying there's no bleed through with your average fountain pens. Um, you can walk in and buy it if you do have a CVS. So you're not worried about shipping, which I'm always worried about shipping costs. And then your stampers will be okay as long as it's non-archival. This was a, 
uh, the archival ink from stamping up that I've had for years and it bled right through. You can see it just, it, it made a mess, but that's okay. Um, then over here on the not so glamorous side is, it does have the holes on the side, um, but I feel like you can trim them. Um, it's, you know, it's not fancy. It's not like Tamoy River paper, so I put down boring, but I wouldn't go that far. I guess it just, it's basic. But really, I feel that way about the clear... Fontaine Triumph. It's white paper with lines. I mean, you know, people are not going to frame these letters. They're, it's a communication. They may keep it for a while. And then, um, oh, I mistakenly put lightweight under con. To me, that's a pro. I, I kind of like that it's lightweight because uh, I could, you know, write. I can write on both sides and, and keep a letter under an ounce. So. so my conclusion is this is a great alternative for letter writing paper. You could trim off the holes. You can. We can certainly see that three nineteen, three dollars and nineteen cents for one hundred and fifty sheets is a winner. And I, this is my little slip they gave me, um, folded over and everything. But there it is. It was three nineteen um, for the filler paper. And at the bottom, they gave me a two dollars off on my next purchase of five dollars. Well, that those things. You know, I'm not in there very much, but. Um, but you would be awfully close to <laughs> to getting it if you had to have some other small purchase like, you know, I don't know, a pack of Band-Aids or some kind of, some little thing. We live like one minute from a CVS. So I just thought I'd show you that. But um, this is just me sharing it with you in case you don't know about it. I really think it's exciting. And I just got out what I had in my... Um, uh, a Knox and Clear, and I just went to town, just tested it, tested these pens out. And you know, um, a lot of times, uh, I do have to be careful with this uh, stub nib, it'll bleed through some paper, not the Clear Fontaine or anything. Um, I see, I, oh, I didn't write down with, write with the uh, Roaring Clinger Casey, I should have done that. Well, let's do that and just see, because I do have that in this, or maybe, no, this is the pen that was giving me trouble, never mind. Nope, it's it's okay now. I guess it was just having a hard start. Let's just see if that goes through. Because that, that is pretty dark. Okay, just a slight bit of shadowing maybe. But I wouldn't call that a problem either. And that's a dark purple. Almost black. So, um, I'm confident in, in that I will use this a lot for letter writing. And I won't feel quite as... Like, I'll go ahead and say more <laughs> if I need to. Because I won't be like, oh, I've already used a... a uh, three pages or you know a page and a half or whatever so okay I promised or I promised myself I'd try to keep this short I have a crystal but not an actual crystal what I have is here in my uh, new crystal book by Jenny Harding and it's another wish list crystal we're getting down to the point now where I don't have very many I haven't showed you but I'm <laughs> kind of dreaming maybe for my birthday or Christmas this year I'd really like a piece of turquoise and it's very expensive to get um, a nice piece that's a, a good inch or more in size. They're they're very expensive, and it's time kind of hard some places to make sure you're getting a, a genuine piece. So you have to be a little bit careful because sometimes um, they are uh, well, they're just represented as turquoise when they're not. But I've been eyeballing one, <laughs> except I almost died when I saw the price because the one specimen that I wanted was thirty two dollars, and she was out of stock. At Moonstone Crystals. Besides that, it's not buying time. That it would be a gift or something that, um, you know, if I get money for my birthday. But turquoise is, is really pretty and it's also got some properties I'm interested in. It says that it's a stone linked to powerful personal protection for which it has been used for millennia, enables communication from the highest source of love, eases feelings of negativity and low self-esteem, supports and energizes the thymus chakra over the breastbone boosting immunity i've never heard it said that way i'll have to look up in my chakra book um healing effects uh place over the heart throat or thymus area to ease breathing and open flow open the flow of emu emotional expression wow i'm talking too fast i haven't even eaten my lunch yet and i'm talking fast um let's see so that's kind of the kind of piece i kind of dream of and i did see a really pretty one on um Moon, moonrise crystals. I'll probably find out <laughs> if uh, she'll get a piece. She gets some, I think, in Arizona once a year, so I'll have to be on the lookout for being able to get one. 
you know, timed maybe and saved for my birthday. But um, th there's all this information over here too, <coughs> which gives kind of history of how the Native Americans used it. And I like it. That's why I like this book. But I, I thought I'd just throw that in there because I'm I'm kind of getting to the bottom of the barrel on uh, crystals and we may have to shift over to books. <laughs> I may have to do a quick book intro at the end of my videos. But thank you for joining me. And, and um, as usual, I'd love to hear your comments. And, and uh, uh, I thank you, pen friend, for, you know, jotting down at the bottom where you found the paper and what it was because I went right in CVS and found it. And... Uh, it's just a kind of an amazing thing. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, uh, everyone, for being here. Uh, it's getting kind of exciting. We're getting close to having 500 uh, pen friends here on the channel. And, and I think it's really, <laughs> really exciting. So I'll see you next time. I hadn't planned this video, but I thought I just couldn't help but share this. Bye for now, guys.